This clip is sponsored by Med Travelers. If you're an SLP interested in travel therapy, visit medtravelers.com to get started. So now thinking about what you know um, from working in skilled nursing facilities and also working, you've worked with a lot of other people in skilled nursing facilities, what would you say are some characteristics that would really help uh, somebody be successful to work in that setting? Be, uh, being flexible. Some days don't go as planned. Some days I, I get to work and you think, I'm going to have seven patients on caseload. I know that I'll probably be out the door by three. It'll be great. <laughs> and you show up to work and four evals came over the, overnight. So then I'm leaving at eight instead of three. Um, or vice versa, you come into work, same seven patients. One's at a doctor, one's out with family, and one went to the hospital. So then you're left with four patients and your day is completely different. Um, or they have a bath scheduled, so you have to wait for the nurse's aides to finish all of their jobs before you can can snag your patient for treatment. Um, and there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people who need time with that individual. You want them to have time with their family, the other disciplines, nursing, social work. Um, so having that flexibility to say, you can get them now, I'll be back in a half hour, does that work? Um, is a big factor. And also being willing to work with your teammates because it is it has to be a team effort. It has to be, um, you have to wear multiple hats some days. You have to be able to go to OT or to PT and say, how can I help you reinforce what you're working on? What what can what strategies or what aids can I give this patient to make them more successful with their safety with their walker um, and and be willing to work interdisciplinary as opposed to this is my lane I'm going to stay in this lane I can't deviate from speech I can't deviate from cognition you have to be able to see that patient as a whole person and factor that into your therapy. Yeah, you brought up so many great, just I think characteristics for any setting, but particularly for that one. And so it sounds like patience, mm -hmm. <laughs> flexibility, <laughs> and and you know, I think you 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 call out something that's really important for somebody that would be considering this is that there is certain ebbs and flows and certain times of year where. The census is very high. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of patients that are due to surgeries and winter and illnesses. And then there's times where it's really low. And so knowing that that's, there's going to be, you know, if you're somebody that needs, I need the same, I need to know what to expect every day. I need that consistency. Then this might be challenging for you versus mm -hmm. if you're well, say like, great, I love the variety of Hey, this month is going to be insane. And then I know that there's going to be months when things slow down a little bit. Um, and you're right that patience and flexibility, because you're working with humans and you may show up to go get them and there's something going on that you can't get them and do exactly what you'd plan to do that day. And so being able to just roll with that and not, not be stressed about that because it mm -hmm. will really, then you'll be stressed a lot. Yeah. And you, and you said exactly it. You're working with humans. You're working with adults who have raised families, who've had mm -hmm. successful careers. And now they are sometimes reliant on other people to do the most basic functions. Um, and that is an emotional component that isn't always factored in. If I, if someone comes into my room at 7 a.m. and said, let's get up for therapy, I would be mad as a hatter. I would be so upset because I'm not a morning person. Um, I, I come in my room at, at 9, come in my room when I've had breakfast. Um, but if that's if someone is saying 7 o'clock is when I want to see them, you may not have the best session. <laughs> <laughs> 